In the 1970s, a young man, actually a naval officer, aspired to be an actor. He had the looks, the talent, charm, and even the muscles. He did take some time to establish himself, but once he proved his worth, there was no turning back. He went on to achieve so many tags and became an action hero that Bollywood had been in search of for so many years. But the fame reached its culmination in a helicopter crash. I just gave you so many clues. Did you guys figure out who the man is? Hey folks, I'm Arya and in this episode of Real Stories, we are delving into the life of a man who delivered this iconic dialogue. Maybe we are poor, coolies, trolley pullers, but we are not beggars. Yeah, you heard it right. It's Malayalam's first action hero, Krishnan Nair, aka Jayan, the macho star of Mollywood. Real Stories Born in 1939 in then Travancore's Kollam, Jayan was often known as a trendsetter in Malayalam cinema. As a child, he received formal education till 10th grade and later joined the Indian Navy. There, he served as a naval sailor for 16 years. During those times, Jayan used to act in plays during functions like anniversaries and brushed up his acting skills. Watching his talent, fellow officers encouraged him a lot. There sprang up the desire to act in films and Jen left the Navy to test his luck in the showbiz. He ventured into the Malayalam industry in the early 1970s, a time when evergreen actor Prem Nazir was at his peak. Initially, Jen did some minor roles and made his debut through Shaba Moksham in 1974. It was during this film's shoot that Krishnan Nair adopted the stage name, Jayan. Two years later came his major break, Panchami, in which he starred along Prem Nazir, Jay Bharati and Adur Bhasi. Still, it was the portrayal of a negative role in the 1979 hit movie, Shara Pancharam, that paved the actor's way to stardom. What followed was an array of matches more mass entertainer action hero roles. There were movies made exploring his masculine physique, you know, the ones showcasing his bare chest. Remember that muscle stretching scene from Sharapanjaram? Jayan rubbing oil on a hose and the beautiful Sheila standing in the balcony staring in awe at his perfect body. Not just his muscles, rather a unique way of dialogue delivery coupled with Elvis bell bottoms to add to the looks. That was Jan for you. Thanks to all these specialities, mimicry artists then and even now love him. Sometimes they were even criticized for mocking Jan's mannerisms with their exaggerated impressions. In a film career spanning less than a decade, Jan acted in more than 100 films. He went from a minor actor to an anti-hero, a villain and finally an action macho star. Some of his popular movies include Angadi, Mean, Panchami, Shara Pancharam, Mrigam, Edo Swapnam, Nayata, among several others. Jayan only had six years in cinema, but he did what he did with utmost perfection. He was an actor who never wanted body doubles to do his stunt scenes. His co-star Seema once said that Jen valued every human being. He was not being heroic, but was just concerned about another person's life. He did not want to put another person's life at risk. So instead, he risked his own life and one such risk proved to be fatal. Yeah, the date was November 16, 1980, a Sunday. Jen was shooting a dangerous stunt a helicopter sequence for Koli Lakam, a multi-star film directed by P.N. Sundaram. He was 41 and the height of popularity. There were stunt scenes for every major actor in the picture. Sukumaran, Madhu, Soman, all had action scenes to perform. And for Jayan, the shot was a bit too risky indeed. Standing on the pillion of a running motorbike, he had to reach for a flying helicopter and climb onto its landing skid. Sounds tough, isn't it? But our guy did it. He did it once, but wasn't satisfied and went for a retake, as many say. 
but this time fate played its cruel game. Chen fell down from the chopper and hit his head on the ground really hard. He was rushed to the hospital. Surgeries were done, but no magic happened. We lost him. Several conspiracy theories surfaced later. Some alleged that jealous colleagues tried to kill him and there was foul play involved in the accident, but none was proven. Some theories even stated that Jai did not die and was secretly taken to America for treatment. A book titled Jai in America was also published by Bipin Chandran, adding to the rumors. Even after his demise, the actor continued to be in news. Not always for the right reasons though. In 2001, a lottery seller named Murali from Jain's native place Kollam claimed that he is the son of Jain. However, Jain's family, including his brother Soman Nair, dismissed the claim. The issue became a hot dispute but later faded away. Years later, in 2018, Murali came to the fore yet again. He said that he was ready to undergo a DNA test to prove his lineage. Fed up with all the claims, Jain's relatives even lodged a complaint against Murali with the chief minister. Anyway, the news did not make much headway later and we cannot say anything for sure. He was Jain, a man who quit his job to run after his passion, an actor who established a unique identity for himself through his looks, voice, stunts and mannerisms, but gone too soon. As actor Madhu once said, Jain will be masculine and young forever. No one can see him as an old man, ever. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for next week's Real Stories. Bye-bye.